Tesla Model S is in with us today. You guys remember this one? This is the one we sat and guarded the entire car. It's back today because we're doing a radar installation. Top of line radar detector has jammers. So it's one of those really cool integrated ones. A lot more seamless. It's not like the type where you have on the front windshield mounted and it's kind of dangling. It's not like that at all. You don't see the radar. There's a lot that goes into this. We're taking apart some trim panels to run wires. If you open up your eyes, it's 10 million fireflies. up the world as I fell asleep. Only professional, no need it, huh? What lesson is this in the rap there, Jim? Uh, no, no, this is a uh, radar dojo. Lesson number one. Lesson zero, wouldn't it? I guess so. I don't know what the lesson is, though. Neither do I. That's a good question, actually. No lesson today! Why are you locking your, your toolbox, bro? This is actually the first time in the vlogs I'm going to show you guys a radar installation we did on a Tesla Model S. The Escort Max CI 360 radar system. Basically what makes this different than your typical windshield mounted radars is that it has four radar receivers. Two in the front and two in the back so you get protection from both front and rear. But not only does it just receive the radar, it also has laser shifters too. And what this basically does is it subtly alters a laser return signal, preventing it from reading a speed. So for example, windshield mounted radars will let you know that it has received a signal. However, it's not actually altering the return signal. So the cameras can still capture how fast you're going. But with laser shifters, they shouldn't be able to read your speed. So besides the four jammers I showed you outside, there's nothing else that's visible except for these two little modules here. So this top module allows you to adjust the volume of the radar, uh, change some settings, you can mute it, things like that. And this little screen here will let you know what laser it's detecting, K-band, X-band, or any other bands. But the cool thing is right here, you guys can faintly see it, there are arrows, 1.4, and one point back and basically that will tell you the direction where the laser is coming from 